Hey Virgos, welcome to your general read. This is a general and will not resonate with everybody unfortunately. I am publishing this in June, um, but it's for any time you see it. So if the title resonates with you and the reading resonates with you, it's for you. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership chemistry. There is a strong magnetic attraction here. So oh, Virgos, stay optimistic about your love life there. So giving your relationship a chance and staying optimistic, positive thoughts and faith will bring you romance. Move my finger so you can see the words. So if you are wanting something to work out because you know you feel this pull towards a certain person here stay optimistic <clears throat> so let's see virgos staying optimistic keeping the faith positive thinking here you know um you'll know if this is for you you'll feel you know this strong magnetic pull towards this person ten of swords okay so you know if you are going through this um, you know, some troubled times, but you want to give your relationship a chance. The worst of it is over here with the Ten of Swords. We have also the Ace of Pentacles, so I believe this re relationship has a strong foundation. Meaning, it could have been a pre-existing long relationship. It could be something built on friendship that you want to, um, you know pursue so we have the two of one so you are at a crossroads here you have a decision to make um are you going to keep working on this relationship do you feel the pull if so stay optimistic if you are not wanting to carry on with this relationship i feel like you're in that sort of mind frame at the moment um there's a decision to be made four of wands could be deciding to move house or move in together here it could be like an offer to move in together or start rebuilding this foundation here because i always see the four of wands as rebuilding a foundation and as we went from the two of wands to the four of wands we see um the efforts um being doubled here the death card yeah so um, there could have been an ending here <clears throat> with the relationship. It could have ended um, and, you know, you want to still give it a chance even though it's already ended once, you know, because the death is about um, endings and new beginnings, the death and rebirth. So, you know, you want to come to say if you want to come together again and give this relationship a chance, treat it as a fresh relationship. You know, build it as a fresh one, a new one. You know, reborn the moon here. <clears throat> so if you have any secrets or they have any secrets, I would advise getting this out. You know, um, before you make your decision, being absolutely clear with each other because what's in the dark will come to the light here with the moon card. Maybe it ended here because of secrets. The Five of Cups. Okay, so <clears throat> if you're still very upset and emotionally attached to this person and, you know, maybe you have a deep fear of it ending again, um, I would work through those issues first. So maybe your um some secrets came out and now you are or they are praying for um uh, this to have a rebirth here. They want that second chance. They're praying, hoping, affirmations here. Maybe it's uh you don't know that they want a second chance yet. Or they don't know that you want a second chance. So communication is always best here, you know, solid communication. 
you know, something needs to be revealed here. Maybe the fact that you're interested in a second chance or they're interested in a second chance. The Knight of Wands. Okay, so rather than rushing in with this Knight of Wands energy, I would say be sure because maybe you just get this burst of passion and, you know, um, with your emotions, it sets you off and you want to, for example, just run to them. Um, make sure you don't go there in the sort of energy or allow somebody back with the sort of energy that's very fleeting. The Knight of Wands is about fleeting energy. Maybe they had a secret affair even, a one night stand and as quick as it you know, happened, it brought a lot of destruction with it, but it was over quickly as well. Um, so, you know, it's all very different on a general reading. But I would say, you know, um, make sure you're clear about what you want. Cause maybe you have that strong pull towards each other. So you just rushed into it. The high priestess. Okay, listen to your gut instinct here. Listen to your gut instinct. Here you might want to take a leap of faith. Um, <clears throat> if they come back in just for one passionate night, I personally would advise don't allow that, especially if you're very deeply and emotionally connected to them here. You know, speak to them first. Let them know, be clear about what you want. Don't keep anything hidden because I feel it'll, it wouldn't help you here. You know, if you allow them in with just one thing on their mind, um, they may leave again just as quickly and you end up hurt again. And going through um, this cycle again, this death and rebirth, you know, transform the way um, this relationship went in the past. View it as a new relationship if it's something old coming back together. Eight of Wands. Okay, so this is what I'm saying. The advice here is communicate and communicate clearly. This is texting, emailing, speaking, whatever. Information coming in here. But trust your instincts. You know, maybe you're having very passionate text messages and you feel like, okay, they want to start again. Um, because you feel all that chemistry, that magnetic pull. But if you want them for more than just this magnetic pull, this chemistry, um, what I would suggest is, talking about it be clear about what you want so that it can come in for you here don't keep anything hidden even fears here with the moon if you have a fear then share it with them or they may be feeling like this about you so virgos good luck guys